In this section, we're going to go over some of the advanced features available to you during your call, including hold, transfer, and conference. Now we're going to go over the hold function. This feature is especially handy when you're either taking another call on another line, or you have to leave the phone for a moment. Now let's show how it works. I'm in the middle of a call with Bob. I need to put him on hold for a moment. So to do so, I press the right arrow key on the touch guide. I then scroll down with the down arrow key, and I press OK on hold. Bob is now on hold, and you can see on the top left corner of your screen, his icon has changed to show that. To return to the call, I go back to the context menu, and then I press the reconnect button, and Bob is now brought off hold, and we can continue our conversation as we left off. I can alternate between hold and unhold even more quickly by taking advantage of the free programmable keys on the right side of the open stage display. In this situation, if I want to put Bob on hold, I simply press the hold free programmable key on the right side and he's put on hold. As soon as I want to take Bob off hold, I go back and I press the same hold key and he's off hold and we can continue our conversation. Now we're going to discuss the transfer feature. There are going to be a number of times where I simply can't answer a question or I'm just the wrong person for the call. So it's really important that we can instantly transfer the call to the right person. The open stage phones feature three different methods of call transfers. The first method, known as blind transfer, is where I simply transfer the caller to someone else and my phone hangs up the second I press the transfer button. The next option is what we call a semi-attended transfer. The semi-attended transfer, I stay on the line long enough to hear that the phone is actually dialing through to the destination, and then I can choose to terminate. And finally, there's the fully attended transfer, in which I transfer the call, and I stay on the line long enough to either make an explanation or an introduction. All three of these options are extremely easy to do, and we're going to show how they work right now. First, we're going to show how to perform a blind transfer. Blind transfers are the fastest and easiest way to transfer a call. To perform a blind transfer during the call, you press the right arrow key on the touch guide. Then you scroll down with the down arrow key to blind transfer and press OK. Enter the number you want to transfer the call to and press OK to transfer it out. The call immediately transfers out and your phone hangs up so you can go right back to work. You can make blind transfers even faster by taking advantage of the free programmable keys on the right side of your open stage display. To make a blind transfer using the free programmable key, just press the transfer button on the phone during a call. Dial the number you want to transfer to and press OK. The call is immediately transferred. Now we're going to show how to do a semi-attended transfer. Blind transfers are extremely useful when you have to quickly make the call. But if you need to be able to be sure that the call is being transferred forward, use a semi-attended transfer. To perform a semi-attended transfer, Press the right arrow key on the touch guide. Then press OK to consult. At this point, Bob is placed on hold and is waiting for his call to be transferred. Dial your number and press OK to dial to the third party. At this point, you'll hear the phone ringing, which you know the call is being completed. You can, at this point, scroll down and press OK to complete the transfer. Now we're going to demonstrate how to do a fully attended transfer. Once again, these are extremely useful for me to be able to pass on an introduction or provide an explanation to the party I'm forwarding the call to before actually making the transfer. So, to perform a fully attended transfer, assuming that the context menu is not available, you simply press the right arrow key to bring it up. The first option on the screen is consult. Press OK and then dial the number you want to transfer the call to. Press OK one more time, and the call will start to ring. At this point, Hans has picked up the phone, and I can provide my introduction or the explanation of the situation. I have another option available to me at this point. If I press the right arrow key to get to my context menu, I can now alternate, or I can complete the transfer right away. To complete the transfer, you scroll down and press OK. But if I want to alternate so I can talk once more to Bob before I pass the call off, I press 
to the alternate option and then press OK. The call immediately switches back to Bob. I let him know the call is going to be transferred. And then I go back to the context menu, scroll down, and press OK on complete transfer. And the call transfer now takes place. The phone hangs up, and I can go back to work. We're now going to talk about the conference feature. It's a very typical business situation where you have to speak to more than one person at the same time. The number of parties you can have in a conference will vary depending on system setup. The open stage phones themselves support three-party conferencing. But with the communication system that the open stage is connected to, it's possible to dramatically increase the number of people you have in a conference. However, for today, we're going to focus on configuring the three-party conferencing available with the open stage phones. Now let's show how it works. To set up a third-party conference, I have to go to my context menu. If you didn't know, the context menu is accessed by pressing the right arrow key on your touch guide. It also shows up by default for the first 30 seconds of any call you're in. But after that, it goes away and you have to press the right arrow key to access it. So, to begin a three-party conference, I then press the right arrow key on the touch guide. The first option you'll see is consult. Press OK, and then dial the number of the party you want to conference in. And press OK. We'll immediately dial out to the third party. And once I connected, I press the right arrow key one more time and a new context menu appears. I scroll down to conference and press OK. And we're instantly engaged in a three-party conference. Call forwarding is an extremely useful feature. It helps you guarantee your availability and make sure you never miss a call even when you're away from your desk and your open stage phone. Open stage phones let you set up a list of up to five numbers to which you can potentially forward your calls. Let's show how it works now. Deflecting a call is extremely useful for those times where you simply can't pick up the phone. For example, you might be in the middle of something that's taking all of your attention and you have to forward the call straight to voicemail. Alternatively, you might be on the way out of the office and you want to deflect the call to your mobile phone so you can take the call on the go. Either way, 
it's extremely easy to set call deflect. So let's show how it's done. To deflect an incoming call, I simply select deflect from the context menu that shows up as soon as my phone starts to ring. Once I've pressed OK, I now have to enter the number I want to deflect the call to, and then I press OK to deflect. The call is immediately passed on, and I can get back to doing what I was busy with. I can actually deflect calls even faster and more easily by using the free programmable keys on the side of my OpenStage display. This also lets me preset a number, for example, my voicemail, so that calls can be instantly deflected. So all I have to do is wait for the call to come in, And as soon as I press the free programmable key, the call is instantly forwarded to my voicemail. So I can get to the call at my leisure, and at the same time, I can keep working on what I was busy with.